Welcome back. We're still with the Chairman of the Police Service Commission, Mr. Michael Kiru. Thank you for joining us once again. Uh, thank you so much. We're still on the issues surrounding the Nigeria Police Force. Uh, a group known as the Civil Society Network Against Corruption has sent a petition against you to President Muhammadu Buhari. In that petition, the group alleged that you were engaged in fraudulent attempts to swindle the commission of 275 million naira. What's your entire reaction to this? Uh, when I started that lab, it was like a, a, a retrash. That was the petition written by a staff. A police service commission. A staff. A police service commission last year. The matter was investigated by ICPC, ACC, and they read the report in which I was exonerated. Um, I know what happened. The, the, the staff of the commission, it was in, in protocol department. Then it was removed to another department. Why? Uh, they should go around. They should go around. They wasn't anyone the whole fight. When I came in, I, I made the sort of, after some time, I changed them. They could go around uh, the other areas. We were removed from protocol to somewhere else. It might take pressure on me, send, send people to me to bring it back to protocol, and I said no. It didn't, it didn't jump the commission as a protocol officer. It could be an administration. Be recruitment. There are areas you should go to. If you said the governor to me, I said no. You should remain there. Then he, he now wrote the petition during the, during the election. First, I said I embezzled 350 million. They said 500 million. They did the case, they took it. Well, not that very sure. I'm not very sure how much it was because he was not there to know how much it was. Matter was investigated in the day. I was arrested. Okay, so money was embezzled, but he wasn't sure of how much. No, not, nothing was embezzled. What was embezzled? The money was meant for the staff going to monitor the police during the election. Part of the money was for GTA and other things. Unfortunately for him, he thought that the money was in the account. So what he did, he connived with a journalist, saying that if they tried to blackmail me, I could give them money. I understand he wanted to wait. He needed money for wedding. So he got the journalist to tell me, oh, you got 250 million naira from government, you better the money. But the money is in the account. What, what money could he have been referring to? He was referring to this money given by government, the police service commission for monitoring of election, conduct of policemen during election. So the money was in account. Police service commission project account. The money, this the money was there, which when ICPC investigated, the money was there, not the money taken by anybody. Apart from the one given to them, the main money was not sent back to government. In How way. much was sent back to the government? I think that about 133 million. 131 million was the money sent by the government. It was in account. Nobody, nobody thought any money at all. You see, um, we, I know we shouldn't be making huge comparisons with other developing countries or even developed countries, but the issue remains that we send the police officers on trainings and retrainings abroad. We see what happens. Even you, as a, the chairman of the Police Service Commission, you, you have gone to lots of countries. You see what pertains there in their police force. And we, of course, we are lagging far behind. What really bothers you about our commission, or rather our service, as police officers, the way they behave and all of that, what bothers you most about it? What do you think is that major challenge that we haven't surmounted? Especially when we're facing issues of terrorism, where we have to come on full force to fight. Yeah, it bothers me too, like a body on every Nigeria. The police officers go outside this country, other on courses, seminars, peacekeeping, and do very, very well outside the country. The same police officer coming back to Nigeria, you're not doing well in Nigeria. They have a problem. It should be an environmental problem, not the problem of the police per se. He's the same police officer. Can go outside this country and do very well, come back 
with glories, with laurels, with certificates, with honors. In Nigeria, you're not doing very well. Don't you think it's a environmental problem? The problem is Nigeria, not the police officer. The Nigerian police officer is Nigerian. Work in Nigeria. Therefore, if it affects Nigeria, of course, it must affect them. So you cannot divorce a part of an organization. For some organization, it's a set. The, 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 the properties of a set. How do I put it? The properties of an organization must be found in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a member of that organization. So I'm not trying to is only police, Nigerian police from corruption, but I want to say that the society itself is responsible for what is happening in the society. All, whether the, the teacher or police officer or soldier or custom, mention it. They cannot be different from what is happening in the environment. Very well, Mr. Michael Kiro, thank you for sharing your time with us on Dateline Abuja. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for your mails as always. Keep sending your views and comments using your email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Let us know anything happening within your locality, especially if you're in the nation's capital. Now, don't you forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Make your comments up to viewing any of the videos. And don't forget to include your name and location. Thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuke. See you again.